Hi and welcome. I'm here today to show you our new Excel tool. We have created a tree map chart maker that is very simple to use. Our template contains two similar inputs. One is the basic and the other a bit more advanced. Each input generates two output sections, tree map and the hierarchy tree. We can easily navigate to them by clicking related button. So let's go first to the input and see how it all works. As you can see, we have here main and subcategory. I have here written two main categories that rep represent some kind of life form, the wild animals and plants. I will add one more and those will be pets. And in the subcategories, I will list some type of pets people usually own. Immediately, we can see our data in the chart preview. Some of the squares are bigger than the others. For example, we have two lions and two turtles in here. It is all because actually I have the same row doubled here and here. And they are all being combined into the one group and summed up. It is good to know that we don't need to be worried about sorting the data in any specific way. The template will do it for us. For, for example, I can add at the bottom one more wild animal and the tree map will still work properly. Since we don't have any value in here, it is understood by the template that each row equals one. If I add a different value, like five next to the dog, we will see the dog square got much, much bigger. Now let's go to the chart sheet and make some changes. To customize the chart, I just click it and go to the chart design tab. Here I can change the colors and the style. I can also change the title or resize the chart. Let me also change the color font and resize the chart. Now we can go also to the hierarchy tree, which is actually the link between the input data and the tree map chart. We can see here all our categories and subcategories sorted. Okay, so now when we understand the main rules of the template, I will also show you some more additional features in the advanced input. It is very similar to the first one, but it gives us some more advantage on creating more levels. That means we can have a subcategory of a subcategory. For example, here I have my turtles split into the water one and the land one. And also I have two type of water turtles. In this input, we have the option to ignore some of our subcategories. So I don't need to remove this data if I just want to see the output without a specific column. I just ignore it. And our chart is getting much more simple. Also, I can choose if I want to see the total value in the chart by choosing height or show in the last column. Right now, I have the numbers in here, but if I click height, the number will disappear. Okay, let's just see what is the difference between the basic and advanced outputs. The tree map looks pretty similar. I don't see my subcategories since I ignored them, so I will go back and I will include them back. We can make here the same changes as before in the basic tree. So after I click it, I can change the design and the color or change the title. And now let's go to the hierarchy tree. As you can see, all our included information are here sorted and grouped properly. Okay, that's all for now. 
thank you for watching and don't forget to check our other templates on www.someka.net.